Hello, and welcome to another video in our Microsoft Project series. If you have watched our previous video, we talked about the different project management tools Microsoft has as an offering today. So we showed you the differences between Project Online, Project for the Web, and also Project Desktop, and what you would be able to accomplish with each tool. In this video, we are going to talk about the different plans. So we are going to show you what each plan is going to offer you. And this way, you will be able to figure out what it's the best uh, subscription for you. And also, we are going to show you how you would be able to download Project Desktop if that's uh, the path you want to follow. So let's go ahead and check Microsoft's website to see what offers we have. I'm in Microsoft's website, and here is where you'll be able to see all the project management softwares that you will have access as of today. And in this landing page, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on where you see uh, products and pricing. And you will be able to see you have cloud-based solutions and also on-premises solution. I'm gonna show you the on-premises real quick. If I come to on-premises, you will be able to find Project Standard and Project Professional. Both of these tools will give you access to Project Desktop. The difference between them is that Project Standard, it's not designed for collaboration. So if you just want to download Project Desktop to your computer, then this is where uh, you would go and that's it. This is not a subscription service, so this is a one-time purchase and you'll be able to have access uh, to the tool forever. However, this uh, standard plan, it's not gonna give you access to Project Online. What you would be able to be doing in Project Online Project Online will give you the option for you to upload your project so you can share the project with others. And also, you'll be able to use enterprise resources uh, as a pool so you know exactly when each person is available. You will be able to create a SharePoint site and this SharePoint site would allow you to upload documents that are related to your project so you have everything in a central location. You can customize fields for the entire enterprise where uh, people would be able to use those fields without the need to create them. They would be available on Project uh, Desktop for everyone. So these are some of the perks you would be able to do on Project Online. You can submit timesheets on Project Online. So this way you have every company's resource time is scheduled over there. So if they take time off, you would be able to assign that to your project. And whenever you assign that resource to your project, that time off would be taken into consideration, okay? So these are some of the parts that you can do on Project Online. For more information, we refer to our uh, previous video. We just did a little bit of an overview how Project Online looks like. And if you do want to have those capabilities, you would need Project Professional, okay? But this is going to be the on-premise services uh, solutions that Microsoft offers. And that's going to be the difference, the difference between the two of those. If I come back to my cloud-based solutions, which is what I believe most people will relate and will purchase, you'll be able to find Plan 1, Plan 3, and Plan 5. So Plan 1, it's going to give you access basically to Project for the Web, okay? Which, it's not the same as Project Online, and again, for more information, refer to our previous video. But it's going to give you access to Project for the Web. Project for the Web will allow you to create projects with your organization in a way that everybody can contribute to those projects. Everyone will be able to edit tasks, mark their tasks as complete. So you're basically working with a team and Project for the Web will not allow you to track costs. So just make sure you watch that previous video as well. I'm gonna say this just for the last time, uh, but this is basically going to give you access to Project for the Web. And that's what you get with Project Plan 1. In Project for the Web, if you do like that tool and if you think that tool is the right tool for you, just be mindful that Plan 1 will not give you access to the critical path, okay? So for you to be able to see the critical path, you need to have either Plan 3 or 5. And now let's see what Plan 3 and 5 will offer you more than what Plan 1 will. Project Plan 3 will give you access to Project for the Web, all the same functionalities, but with the addition of you being able to see the critical path with Project Plan 3. However, not only you have access to Project for the Web, but you can also download Project Desktop. If you come all the way here to the bottom, let's see Desktop Client. You'll be able to see that uh, the project desktop is only going to come with uh, Plan 3 and Plan 5. So it's not included in Plan 1. If you want to have the ability to download project desktop, you know already that you have to start with either Plan 3 or 5. 
Both plans three and five will also give you access to a project online. So you basically, if you get project uh, plan three or five, you have access to a project for the web, project online, and also project desktop. So you basically get everything with that package. Now that you know that both projects plan three and plan five will give you access to a project desktop, the next step is to figure out, okay, how do I download project desktop now? And if you do have one of those plans already subscribed to, how you would be able to check your account to make sure you have access to those features. So once you have uh, completed the subscription, the next step is going to be uh, going to your Microsoft account. So I'm gonna open a new tab here and I'm gonna go to my account dot Microsoft dot con. This is an overview of my account. And if you want to see what subscriptions you already have, you can just go to this area here called uh, subscriptions. And you will be able to see which plans you have. You can see I actually have plan five, so I just have to find it. It's probably down the list. There it is. I have project plan five, and you will be able to see what you will be able to have access to with plan five, okay? Once you have checked which plans you have, the next place you're gonna have to stop for you to be able to download Project Desktop in case you have a plan that allows you to do so is uh, apps and devices. So apps and devices right here. And you'll be able to see all the different apps you will be able to download. If I come to my apps and devices, you will see that I have the option to install Office from here, Skype for Business, but notice that I also have this area right here in the middle saying that I can download Project Desktop. And if you want to download Project Desktop, you just have to come here and click on this link. There is not a link that you can just go and download. There's not a link that we will be able to share with you uh, in the description of the video or anything. You actually need to make sure you have the subscription and you check your account for you to be able to download the tool. Once you have everything all set in your computer, then you will be able to start your learning path in Microsoft Project Desktop. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this tool, just join us in the next series of videos that we're going to be releasing soon. So, see you soon.